Find the measure of the angle indicated. These are secants, right? A secant is a line that basically has no, you know, rhyme or reason. It's just a line that cuts through a circle. All right, now this secant by cutting it through the circle, these two secants rather by cutting it through two circles gives me four points that it cuts through. Okay, and we'll call them A, B, C, and D. Now let's call you angle X, which is kind of what I wanna do here. All right, if I'm trying to find the measure of angle X, which is an angle created by two secants, what you do is the measure of angle X is gonna equal one half of the large arc that's created by the two secants, the large major arc, so arc BD minus arc AC. Okay, so close to the average, but not quite. All right, so what I'm gonna do is the same thing over here. I need to find the measure of angle, I don't know, question mark, we'll call you X. So X is going to equal one half of the large arc that's created. So if I were to pretend that these lines are still going on, we can see the same thing. 175 would be that guy. So 175 minus this smaller arc that's created, 75, 57. <laughs> oh, numbers, you're so difficult. I'm not sure why I got two degrees in them. 175 minus 57, I believe is 118. Yep, and half of 118 is going to be 59. So X is 59, which means the measure of angle, I don't know, is going to be 59 degrees. Okay, okay, fun, secants.